Hey folks, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Irish Ham Radio. In this video, my first one, apart from the introduction to the channel, I'm going to be doing some experiments receiving satellites on my Anytone uh, D878 UV Plus and using a Quadra Filer Helicoidal Antenna. First try. Okay, so let's get to it. Just a quick reminder, as this is my uh, first video bar, the introduction, of course, if you're new to the channel, uh, Dave is my name. I'm currently studying for my uh, amateur station license here in Ireland. So as I said in my introduction, I'm interested in uh, amateur radio satellites, uh, weather imaging satellites, SSTV, APRS, or digipeating from the uh, International Space Station, anything like that at all. So, uh, while I'm waiting to get my license to be allowed to transmit, I've been trying to hone my skills on the receive side. Um, and basically that's what I was doing yesterday evening. So yesterday evening I looked on my satellite tracker app, um, I, which I'll detail in the description here. And I found that we, I, within a short space of time, I actually had um, a weather satellite, NOAA 18, and uh, two amateur radio satellites, AO95 and AO92 passing. So I said I'd uh, get the camera out and start videoing. So just to give you a quick uh, description of the rig that I was using, I have my Anytone uh, D878 UV Plus as the radio. And I had that connected to a QFH antenna centered on the NOAA satellite frequencies actually for the weather imagery. Uh, although I did use the same antenna to receive the amateur radio satellites, AO95 and AO92. Um, just for reference, uh, center frequencies for the NOAA satellites would be around 137.5. And just to give you the difference, the center frequencies for the uh, amateur radio satellites would be around 140, 145. Point eight, uh, so there is a bit of a difference there, um, but yeah, it seemed to work fairly well. And uh, here now, I'll just show you a quick uh, screenshot of the satellite tracking app that I use. I'll give details of that, as I say, in the description of the three passes, their maximum elevation, and some details on that. So, no eighteen was first weather satellite APT. Um, I didn't decode the signal because I don't have the right cables yet to connect it really well to my computer but that's going to come in one of my uh, videos fairly shortly so I was really just checking to see uh, with by ear how good the signal was coming from the AOS uh, or the acquisition of signal on the horizon to when it went to its maximum elevation and uh, so that's really all it is so it's a lot of bleeps and noises for this one but it's pretty short but it just gives you an idea how good the signal is coming in. So there you go, that was no way 18. Not that exciting, uh, but what it tells me is that I'm getting fairly good uh, audio levels and signal levels there all the way, even at as low as 10 degrees. So when I get my cables right and get the software for decoding correct on the laptop, I'm happy, happy enough that my um, receive setup is good to get uh, some good satellite images. So that'll be in a future video. So next up was the amateur radio FM repeater satellite. AO95, otherwise known as Fox One Cliff. And here we go. Fox One Cliff, safe mode. Fox One Cliff, safe mode. Fox One Cliff, safe mode. So we got some messages there, but a pretty short video. And that is because I found out afterwards, after a little bit of research last night, that AO95 or Fox One Cliff, as you hear Veronica, the automated message saying there, 
uh, is actually faulty. So it was launched um, and from the very start they had some issues with the receive uh, element on it. So they are not able to send any commands to the satellite to actually enable it. And it's been sitting there up in space and uh, Veronica, as they call the lady on it, has been just repeating the message, uh, Fox One Cliff Safe Mode uh, for the last two years odd. So there you go. And the final one here is uh, AO92, another FM uh, repeater satellite. So that was pretty cool. Got a good QSO there between two Spanish stations, Echo Alpha 2 Bravo Juliet Mike and Echo Alpha 1 Golf. And I can tell you that Echo Alpha 2 Bravo Juliet Mike must have a fairly good station because even when that bird was out over the North Atlantic, um, he was still hitting it and coming back to me fairly good. Uh, so yeah, so that was pretty interesting. Um, look, that's pretty much it. Not gonna go on any longer. Hope you liked it guys. Just don't forget to like this video if you do genuinely like it and subscribe if you want to get notifications for my future videos. Seven threes.